To start using the planner, you first need to either import a completed plan, or as demonstrated here, start with an existing image. We've used a screen grab from Google Maps, which is a great way to get started if you don't have a plan of your project. Enter your project name and hit go. You can then scale your imported image by following the instructions on the screen. Your image is now to scale. The next step is to trace the image to distinguish between structures, garden and lawns. This is the first stage in helping our design department identify your irrigation requirements. You can zoom in to make it easier to draw detailed shapes. Select the polyline tool and begin tracing the outlines of the structures. The orange draw indicator appears as you draw, so you can keep track of distance and angle. To end a line, you either double click the mouse or hit the escape button. Now it's time to map out the perimeter of the whole property, or just a section. You can use the line tool for this. You can also use the zoom and pan tools to quickly and accurately move your image around. If you need to identify a paving area, simply use the rectangle tool. Draw the size you want, and then you can rotate it to the angle you require. Then slide it into place, and even resize if necessary. A great shortcut to return to the image is to hit the Reset Grid button. Next, mark out the garden area using the Polyline tool. You can even do minor adjustments to the garden beds if required. Just click on the selected point, release and drag it to the new position, then click to place. Labelling the key areas of the property is the next step. Now it's time to add the plants. Simply click, release and then drag to place the plant where you want it and its approximate size. To duplicate the plant, first use the edit tool to copy it and then click to place them until you have placed all you need to. Creating trees uses the very same functions we've just covered. Now we have the equipment items. Click to place them and then, as with the draw symbols, these can be rotated, resized, moved and copied. You can even add north which will help us know where the sun is. This will play a part in the design of the irrigation system. It lets us know where there's full sun and where there's going to be overshadowing. When you're done, click on hide image. And there is your final plan ready to send to the Reese Design Department.